no day passes that I don't meet with people that are just getting started with their creative journey. And, and it is my calling to be able to sit down with them and to listen to them, to hear where they are, how they are, what they envision, and, and how they feel that they need to accomplish. But the thing that really gets into my heart is when they say, but it has to be done immediately. And that's the thing about creativity. It's not going to happen immediately because we all evolve as human beings. We all grow. We all change. And you've got to be able to understand that creative monster because it's an addiction to hang out with that dude on the inside. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. We've got so much going on. We've got some junk in the trunk. Go ahead and call it what it is. We've got junk in the trunk. Our heads are so full. Our bodies are so tattered and torn. Our thought process is nothing more than a guessing game. And here we are. Here we are. We keep pushing forward. So much so that I, I got to take a drink of some coffee. Because, because you know, if we're not doing Red Bull and anything else that's going to give us some energy, we, we, oh, we're just torn. We're just torn. Oh, thank God I've got coffee in me. Because we're going to cover a subject today that is really weighty, very weighty. You might make it through, you might not, but you hopefully you'll come back and you'll you'll pick up on it because there's so much information that we're going to cover today that that it, to take it all in at one time is is I, I I'm sorry I, it, it's a pretty high expectation, but that's what it's like to be a daily writer. Hey, it's Arrow. This is. The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am that daily writer. I'm given things while I'm writing, and I go, really, God? Really? Am I supposed to talk about this? Really? Come on, man. I'm not in the mood. I just woke up. And and God doesn't listen to excuses like that. He just says, pay attention, boy. Just pay attention. And put some stuff on that page that you would never talk about. And if you did, people would think you're insane. But in reality, we all change. This is The Daily Mess. So much going on in our heads and hearts these days. Constantly caught in a thought. Listen to the way that people talk. Seriously, listen to the way that people talk. It's, it's kind of like an interrupted rhythm. Very few conversations are completed sentences. I, I got a coworker. His name is Bill. Bill the coworker. This guy will hit three or four subjects inside one moment of conversation. So what I do is that I've learned to pick up on things that he says, and I'll go back and I'll talk to him about it. And he goes, D did I say that? I, I, I don't remember talking about that. It's amazing. We have interrupted conversations, three or four subjects at a time, in this moment of, blah, 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 and you're going, whoa, 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 what did I get here? See, it's no different with my daily writing. Whether it's three or six pages of thought, the mind is all over the place. And for what reason? My father would always say, Stop being scatterbrained. I didn't understand that as a kid. What do you mean scatterbrained? There are so many expectations that need to be met inside a world that has fallen in love with this thing called multitasking. Oh my God. During my 43 years of this career, I thought, I am going to be brilliant at this thing called multitasking. I want to be a part of all four corners of the broadcasting world from promotions to being the on-air talent to being part of the sales department to being this and that and this and that. And all of a sudden one day I wake up and I go, I can't. Oh my God, my mind hurts. What is this thing called multitasking? To be in several different mindsets at the same time while succeeding in each department at levels of expectation that no other generation has ever had to face. So I have spent the last couple of years since the COVID lockdown trying to learn how to say no. No, I can't do that. No, no, I'm not going to be there. No, I'm not available. No, 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 no. I, I may have done that at one time, but I, I, I'm, 
I'm not going to be there. In fact, just the other day, this was a new kind of no, and it, and it's and it's to get this kid off my back. Oh, so you're a you're a third degree black belt, and you haven't been in class in how long? And I finally looked at Ryan and I said, Ryan, at 60 years old, I'm broken. I have kicked so many bags. I've been in so many fights and tournaments. I have been on that floor so much that my body said, no, no. Do you watch the way that I walk, Ryan? I, I have been beaten up so badly over the past few decades that my body is saying, no. And that's why we have to convince our minds to do the same thing because we are just brutalizing our ambitions because we think we've got to be here. This, this is our level of, the, well, I guess I'm successful because I have this. So we've set our sights so high that we're brutalizing everything about us and we hurt. And when we hurt, we run to the doctor and we get those little shots. We take those pills we take shots in the middle of the night in the way of going, okay, if I take one more hit of this, hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. I will not grow into my current company, my essential job, because I don't like the way that my managers are being treated. They're being brutalized. You may be at your place of business in a state of mind where you're going, I don't understand. Why are people treating me like this? But you have to look above you. If they're treating you that way, what are they doing to those above you? I've never been here before. I've never seen the managers in a place of decision making where they're just saying, no, I got to go. I'm saying no. Now, what about you? When are you going to say no? Because when you start saying no, that means that you are protecting everything about you in your place of now. It, it didn't happen the way that a lot of us wanted it. We had that, that, that big old COVID-19 lockdown. We were expecting to go back to jobs where people had a different mindset of how they were going to you know, treat employees. It got worse. The reason why is because those that are employed are very few in numbers and the expectation is higher than you've ever seen in your life and if you don't perform they're always tapping on your shoulder or they're always saying your name that is one of the ooh, that gets underneath my skin so much every day do not say my name or get on get on the earpiece and say where are you and so bad i just want to say well i left about 10 minutes ago because I didn't like the way I was being treated. So therefore, I'm giving you my no. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.